With over 880 publications and literature references, and a staple in the drug development pipeline for pharma and biotech, the Oncomine applications have enabled the identification and discovery of expression and mutation cancer profiles across thousands of cancer samples. Our founding mission statement, helping to cure cancer with genomic data, is being realized every day by our customers with the development of new drugs, targeted therapies, diagnostic tests, and new indications for already approved drugs, with Oncomine as an essential tool to facilitate the process. The newest suite of Oncomine tools are the NGS Power Tools. Developed with a biologist and bioinformaticist in mind, the NGS Power Tools enable the user to explore RNA-seq expression, fusion, and mutation profiles across thousands of cancer samples and cell lines. More advanced analysis can be performed using the NGS Integrative Analysis Browser, which allows the user to examine the associations between the sample phenotypic and genotypic information. With over 7,500 non-TCGA and TCGA samples, the NGS RNA-Seq Expression Browser is the newest Oncomine NGS power tool to determine RNA-Seq expression profiles by general cancer type and specific cancer type. Search for and select the gene or genes of interest. The table displays a frequency of overexpression for the selected gene of interest, which passed the user-defined cutoff for overexpression. Select on one or multiple frequencies to examine the linear fold change or log2 expression profiles for the selected gene across multiple general cancer types. Additional information about the specific cancer types are provided below. Select the sample in the plot or switching to the details tab provides more information. Off the top we see a couple of cancer types which stand out as overexpressed for ERG. Overexpression of ERG and acute myeloid leukemia has been associated with poor prognosis. And in prostate adenocarcinoma, ERG overexpression contributes to development of androgen independence in prostate cancer through the disruption of androgen receptor signaling. For all NGS power tools, the table details and images can be exported. The next Oncomine NGS power tool is the NGS Fusion Browser. Gene fusions are hallmarks of specific cancer subtypes known to occur at low frequencies. They involve the joining of two intrachromosomal or interchromosomal gene partners as a result of a genomic rearrangement. The NGS Fusion Browser is a high value application to detect fusions from RNA-seq samples and cell lines. Rigorous effort has been taken to develop a pipeline which calls fusions and prioritizes them with the highest confidence. Fusions in normal samples, homologous gene pairs, in repeat mast regions, and other criteria are used to filter out false positives and detect fusions even at the low frequencies at which they typically occur. Search by gene or cancer type. The table provides a summary of occurrence frequency for each fusion pair and details whether or not it's been published before and whether or not it's an alkaline prioritized fusion. An exon imbalance p-value provides a measure of significance to support the called fusion. A significant p-value is not required for a fusion to be called, but does provide additional evidence that the fusion is real biology. Here we see FGFR3 TAC3 fusions detected across new indications and confirmed in cell lines. This finding was recently reported in Cancer Discovery. On the right, the predicted fusion structure per sample shows the exon counts relative to the breakpoint, with the lighter shades of green and pink representing the 5' and 3' untranslated regions, and darker shades representing coding regions. In the panes below, we see the exon expression level for the fusion partners. On the left is a box plot summary of the RPKM expression data. On the right, each line represents a tumor sample of RPKM expression values per exon with breakpoints marked by diamonds. 
This visual confirmation of the breakpoints and trends in increased expression of the flanking exons provide evidence that suggest the exon of the three prime partner could be driven by the fusion of regulatory motifs from the five prime partner. The details of each fusion can be found on the fusion details tab. The next Oncomind NGS power tool is the NGS mutation browser. The NGS mutation browser has two modes to discover oncogenic and tumor suppressor somatic mutations across 9,000 tumor exomes and cell line samples, pan cancer mode and the specific cancer type mode. The pan cancer mode highlights the fact that a hotspot or deleterious driver mutation can occur in a small number of samples across multiple cancer types. And individually the effect might not be significant, but when added up across all cancer types, it reveals the same mechanism can drive the development of multiple cancers. The individual cancer type mode assists in the identification of a consensus oncogenic or tumor suppressor mutation for the same cancer type. All genes or specific genes can be used as filtering criteria. By default, the pan-cancer summary table shows genes classified as gain of function or loss of function. Gain of function genes have a high number of hotspot mutations, whereas loss of function genes have a high number of deleterious mutations. The recurrent other classification represents genes with a more ambiguous mixture of hotspot and deleterious mutations. If we switch to the individual cancer type mode, here we see confirmation of the recent discovery of ERBB3 mutations as a gain of function in sample and cell lines for gastric adenocarcinoma and colorectal adenocarcinoma. Below we see mutations by amino acid position. Mutations that stack up at a position are considered hotspot mutations. The gray bars below the position indicate the functional protein domain. An obvious hotspot mutation for ERBB3 overlaps receptor L domain. The final Oncomind NGS power tool is the NGS Integrative Analysis Browser. The NGS Integrative Analysis Browser combines findings from the power tools, the NGS power tools, and the sample metadata to define the association between sample annotations such as stage, grade, survival, and predicted driver aberrations in large cohorts. Instructive questions aid researchers in evaluating the associations that could be answered for drug discovery and development, such as what aberrations are significantly associated with smokers versus non-smokers. What is the association between the KRAS gain of function and FTS loss of function mutations? Is there a correlation between DNA copy number and RNA expression from the same samples? Which driver events are associated with poor outcome? These questions and more can be answered using the NGS Integrative Analysis Browser. The Integrative Analysis Browser can be navigated in gene-centric or cancer-centric modes. Up to five genes can be selected at a time. The Gene Summary View is a bar chart frequency of driver events for a given gene. Selecting on the bars populates the gene summary details below for significant findings of co-occurrence, exclusivity, enrichment, outcome, and others. We can inspect the details of these findings by navigating the additional tabs. The co-occurrence tab provides an overview of the detected aberrations and the cancer types by gene. Each rectangle represents a sample. Most samples ex exhibit exclusivity with one aberrant gene, as one event is typically the driver event for a cancer. However, there are some examples where multiple genes can have driver aberrations. We can mouse over the individual samples for more details about the type of aberration for that gene. Here we see the majority of samples for colorectal adenocarcinoma exhibiting a gain-of-function mutation. However, a few samples have aberrations for both KRAS and BRAF. The phenotypic and sample metadata details for the detected aberrations are found on the Sample Details tab. 
The DNA versus RNA correlation tab uses RNA-seq expression and DNA copy number data from the same samples to establish a relationship between copy number changes and mutations and the expression. The x-axis displays the log2 copy number values. The y-axis displays the log2 expression values from RNA-seq. In the upper left-hand corner, we see EGFR overexpression highly correlated with samples exhibiting a copy number amplification relative to samples not presenting the amplification in glioblastoma. The RNA-seq expression data can be viewed separately in the differential expression tab. The y-axis provides a distribution of the log2 expression values for the samples grouped by cancer type. A differential expression analysis was performed between samples with and without the amplification. This provides a statistical measurement of the association of the copy number amplification with overexpression. The last gene-centric tab highlights all of the aberration associations in a summary view of sample metadata associations, genetic associations, and outcome associations. For example, we have a significant result where an EGFR in peak gene amplification was positive in 94.6% of classical patients versus 13.7% of proneural patients. We have a significant genetic association where a BRAF GANA function mutation was positive in 0% of NRAS GANA function mutation positive patients versus 64.5% of negative patients. And then below, we have a significant outcome association where KRAS in peak gene amplification was associated with poor outcome in lung adenocarcinoma. Similar analysis has been performed from a cancer type centric view, which can be found in tabs starting with the prefix 2. The last tab in the Integrative Analysis Browser identifies aberrant pathways and aberrant pathway members. The pathway summary can be filtered by cancer types, driver status, and limited by specific pathways or genes. The pathway summary ranks high-frequency pathway aberrations and cancer types of interest. Selecting on sections of the cancer type summary pathways updates the association summary below. The association summary provides details on pathway aberration frequencies, co-occurrence, and mutual exclusivity of pathway aberrations within cancer types. The Oncomind NGS power tools enable biologists and bioinformaticists alike to extract meaningful insights from thousands of cancer samples of pre-computed analysis performed by the experienced Oncomind team with a diverse background in clinical cancer informatics. Contact one of our sales representatives to obtain access to the NGS power tools at compendiasales at lifetech.com. Our support team is standing by to assist with any questions regarding the use of the applications through one-on-one -on -one webinars, phone support, email support, and on-site trainings.